kwenye pingamizi la kwanza kasema kwamba kwanza hajafata sheria kabisa kuna exceptions kwenye ile sheria hajafata uh-huh. exceptions zote hajazifata kasema yeye kwamba kwa sababu walikuwa wametolewa wale ma, uh, kina Adamu uh, wanakwenda kumtafuta mtu mwingine mtu mtu humi wa mwingine kwa hivyo it's, it's okay ni, ni okay eh, ni sawa tu kwamba eh, eh, statements zao mm-hmm. hazijachukuliwa kwenye masama nne no that is a wrong decision why mm-hmm. because kazi ya kutafuta watu humiwa sio kazi ya mtu humiwa <laughs> Tumelewa. Ndio, na mimi ndio nilikuwa nashangaa kwani yeye kazi yake kumtafuta mwenzake. Sio kazi ya mtuhumiwa. Uh-huh. Kazi ya kutafuta mtuhumiwa ni kazi ya polisi. Huwezi ukasema kama jaji kwamba mimi mtuhumiwa uh-huh. nimechukuliwa na polisi kwenda kumtafuta mtuhumiwa mwingine. Kwa hivyo haki zangu za statement yangu kuchukuliwa kwenye masama nne yaliyowekwa kwenye 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 sheria imeruka swali nataka kumuliza siani uh-huh. wali polisi walijuaje uh-huh. kwamba mimi kwamba adamo anamjua huyo mtuhumiwa kabla hawajachukua statement uh-huh. it's, it, it, it's, it, it's, it's, um, it's illogical This is in yake illogical. Ilitakiwa kwanza hata kama na haiwezekani. Hata kama polisi walitaka Adamo waende kuwasaidia kum, mm-hmm. kumsachi huyo mtuhumiwa mwingine. Mm-hmm. Kumtafuta. Okay. Mm-hmm. Kumtafuta huyo mtuhumiwa mwingine kama jaji alivyosema kwamba ah oh, it's okay kwa sababu polisi walikuwa wana Utamuliza vipi Maria bila kuchukua? Uh-huh. Utamuliza vipi? Kwanza hata ukimuliza chochote lazima umsomee haki zake. Na lazima kila kitu anachosema uriki record. Siko wapi hizo? Uh-huh. Lazima record. Police always just kusema na wewe, "Oya, twende basi." <laughs> Ndio, ndo nauliza sasa. <laughs> eh? Oh, awezi. This is wrong. Wrong legally, wrong logically. There's no logic in this. A B C D. Mm-hmm. You have the right to remain silent. Ambayo ina maana kwamba una haki, not... una haki ya, kuka, ya kutojibu au kukaa kimya. Uh-huh. If you choose not to remain silent, everything you say will can and will be used against you in a court of law. Ina maana ina maana hivi mm-hmm. kabla hawajatoka kwenda kumtafuta huyo mtuhumiwa mm-hmm. ilikuwa polisi wachukue statement na waoneshe jaji kwamba huyu mtu alikubali within those four hours alikubali kwenda kuwasaidia polisi kumsaka huyu mtu Mm-hmm. What is this jamani? What is this? Bila hivyo kwa sababu sote tuna haki kukaa kimya kutokuwasaidia polisi kama tunashtakiwa na kitu. Bila hivyo hawezi kuamua tu kwamba kweli walikwenda kwenda kumsaidia polisi. Usaidi kwa wapi? Kwamba alikubali huyu kwenda kuwasaidia polisi? Ndio. Eh, kwa hiyo ni mtazamo wake ni mtazamo wake jeje anasema yeye kwa, kwa mtazamo wake It's against the law sio mtazamo wake It's against the law It's against the law It makes a nonsense out of It makes a nonsense out of our right to remain silent Haki ya kukaa kimya in the face of being accused It makes an absolute nonsense of it Yeah 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 Karibu sana karibu Next. lema <laughs> Naona umefurahia hiyo <laughs> Okay Eh uh-huh. 
I hope lang mo manelewa. I hope manelewa. Sana, 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 Fatma. Sana, sana. Kwa sababu, I get proof, I get proof kwanza. Kwamba, huyu mtu, aliamua kutu kukakimia. Tukaandika statement, ndani ya masama nine yale. Akasema, anamjua, mtu humiwa, B, yuko wapi, na anatukwenda kutusaidia statement yake hii hapa. Mm-hmm. Ndiyo mana, his statement ya pili, ikaandikwa baada ya masama nne. Sao, sao. Huwezi kusema kwamba, oh, tulikwenda, al, tul, alikuwa na chusaidia kwenda kumchisachi mtu. What? You have to show he was ready to do it. Otherwise you forced him. Hmm. I mean, what is wrong with this country? Hi. Issue, yeah. By the way, I, I only, my overall view on that. Okay. So. Issue, yeah, uh, objection, yeah, pili. Objection, yeah, pili, ni kwamba, uye mtu alikuwa na teswa. Kwamba, statement, ilichukuliwa, wakati alikuwa under duress mateso kwa hivyo statement yake haifai kwa sababu basically over millennia to me realize binadamu to me realize kwamba ukimtesa mtu haina maana kile anachokisema kitakuwa ukweli Mtu kimtesa, anaweza kusema chochote kile ili mateso ya stop. Tumeleana. That is the psychology ya tochi. Dear. Kwamba, na ndiyo mana tunasema, sheria inasema, huwezi kuchukua kama ukweli maneno yalokuwa yamechukuliwa ya mtu conf, kama confession maneno yalochukuliwa wakati yule mtu alikuwa chini ya duress ya mateso mm. kwa sababu binadamu tukiwa chini ya mateso tunaweza kusema lolote lile unaweza kukana mamako ndio ili ili u stop the pain maumivu yaishe mm. yes now this is something tumejifunza over time. 500 years ago, torture ilikuwa kitu cha kawaida kutumia ili kupata ukweli. Na I put ukweli kwenye um, quotation marks. Mm-hmm. Walikuwa wanaamini kwamba ukimtocha mtu utapata ukweli. Lakini as we developed, as we became more sophisticated, more mature and we understood tumeelewa psychology ya binadamu na pain psychology ya pain tukaelewa kwamba actually torture haileti ukweli tumeelewa na ndio binadamu anaweza kusema lolote lile mm. ili asimamishe pain mm. hapo ndio hapo ndio tukawa enlightened tukaona oho kumbe kwa hivyo sasa hivi hatuwezi kukubali mtu afungwe wakati maneno aliyosema aliyasema under torture au inhumane and degrading treatment sawa ndio maana statement yoyote inotoka chini ya torture au inhumane and degrading treatment haiwezi kukubalika kwa sababu psychologia ya tocha ni kwamba huwezi haileti ukweli yatatoka yata maneno ili kus, wewe u stop ile tocha ile pain bas sawa mm-hmm. sasa yaji anasema kwamba eh, ile ile preliminary object ile ob, ile objection ya 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 pingamizi pingamizi kwamba kulikuwa pingamizi ya defense ilikuwa haijawa drafted vizuri so again i'm not going to go into the details i'm going to tell you sheria inavyosema ndio kwanza 
mahakama haitakiwi kuchukua pande yoyote naanza na hapo kuna judgment upon judgment upon judgment ya za mahakama ya rufaa inosema hivi kwamba mahakama sio mama yako kama huombi kitu kutoka mahakamani mahakama hakiwezi kukupa okay number one. Mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. ilikuwa hivi ilikuwa hivi pande ya serikali ilikuwa ilalamike kwa jaji kwamba pingamizi ya pili haijawa drafted properly na haiwezi ku contain pingamizi ya tocha hapo jaji angeweza kusema kweli na sito isikiliza hii pingamizi ya tocha kwa sababu hamjai draft vizuri hii kwa hiyo anakubaliana hapo kwamba, jaji kwamba anakubaliana na upande wa mashtaka kwamba kwa hiyo ina maana anafanya Ehe. reference kwa hiyo point ya mashtaka lazima iwe on yes. record hmm? lazima mashtaka ilalamike kwa sababu mahakama sio sio mama yako mahakama sio mama yako kuna judgments zinasema hivyo bila kuyomba mahakama huwezi kupata sasa kaombwa na nani kwamba ile ile pingamizi ya pili haifai nani kamwomba nani kamwambia kwamba pingamizi ya pili haifai yeye ndo kaona hivyo mwenyewe jaji hana ruksa hana ruksa he's a judge mahakama haioni mpaka yaambiwe ndio hayo haiwezi ku, 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 kutoa judgment bila kuombwa ndio kaombwa na nani mhm kaombwa na nani kaombwa na upande wa mashtaka aah uh-uh. akusema eh? hivyo eh kwa mwa mwenyewe tu huwezi jaji huwezi kwa mwa mwenyewe kama mahakama kama upande wa mashtaka hawajaona kuna tatizo who are you kuona tena nao lu hasan kamchagua kuwa jaji kiongozi again nikapiga la haula la haula hata angekuwa anataka awe jaji kiongozi angeweza kusubiri mpaka baada uh-huh. ya huyu jaji kutoa maamuzi kamchagua juzi tu why hajasubiri mpaka baada ya jaji siani kutoa maamuzi ili isionekane ka kwamba kampa kitu ili yeye apate kitu in other words kwa kiingereza tunaita transactional promotion tumeelewana mm. siju kwa Kiswahili what it's called kama biashara <laughs> kama yeah, it's, it's, it's transactional mm. it's a transactional promotion ili usijiweke kwenye position ya wewe rais kuonekana kwamba promotion ilikuwa transactional ungeweza kusubiri kama siani aliweza kusubiri siku nne wakati watu wako ndani ili afikiri basi pia rais angeweza kusubiri siku chache tu kwa ni siani alikuwa anaumwa au a, alikuwa anaishi maisha mazuri tu kama jaji ana anawafanya kazi wanalipwa na serikali na gari maisha yanaendelea angesubiri mpaka kisha toa hiyo ruling either way either way it doesn't matter lakini kwa sasa hivi inaonekana this was transactional and hawezi ku blame wananchi wanodhani kwamba siani ku, ku, uh, hisia kwamba siani kapewa cheo ili atoe maamuzi haya tumeelewana hello yes 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 tum, tunakusikia tumeelewana so that is a problem it's mm. not only a political problem but it is also a problem that goes to the heart of the independence of the judiciary kwa nini 
Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu kama rais anaweza kugawa promotions kama hivi then you have a problem and we go back to mara yote nakwambieni tuna tatizo na katiba yetu kwenye uhuru wa mahakama kwa hivyo hilo ni jambo la pili as a general observation mm-hmm. i do not think it was advisable for the president to give the promotion before Mm-hmm. kabla ya kutoa kutoa judgment angeweza kusubiri mpaka baada ya judgment kutolewa either way hata kama siane siani ange angetoa judgment hii it doesn't matter lakini unaona kwamba it's different judgment i, angetoa hiyo promotion baada ya judgment kuliko kabla ya judgment Tume, tumeelewana eh ndio na nimeona kuna eh, translation nzuri katoa kwa mshabaha one, katoa transaction nzuri mshabaha akasema ni uteuzi wa kidalali hiyo transactional promotion yes so it's transactional one way let me tell you what the difference between kutoa promotion kabla na kutoa promotion baada ya decision mm-hmm. ukitoa promotion kabla ya decision unaweza kuwa accused kwa ku, kwamba ume influence decision Mm-hmm. Tumeleona? Mm-hmm. Kwamba ume influence decision. Kwa hivyo hapo what you have done is ume interfere na uhuru wa mahakama. Kwa hivyo you are open to that type of accusation. Lakini ukitoa promotion baada ya maamuzi all you can be accused of kama maamuzi yanakwenda unavotaka wewe kwamba umetunuku, umetoa zawadi. Mm-hmm. Lakini hawezi hakuna mtu anaweza kuku accuse of influencing the decision. Do-